The reason I moved to Nairobi is... By yourself? By myself. You're... In defiance like of my parents. 19 or 20. You're young. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm now going to turn 20. Mm. In defiance of my of my parents, mm -hmm. I am moving to Nairobi. Mm. Um, and they have told me that if you're moving to Nairobi, mm. you are by yourself mm. until you see sense. Mm. And I'm like, still. That's okay. I'll that's where it. I'm going. Mm. Um, and I had gotten a job with a guy who had a computer company. Okay. He used to do software. Mm -hmm. And he told me that I can help sell the software. I okay. can be a salesperson mm -hmm. for the software. Mm -hmm. And I would get 30,000 shillings a month and a commission. That's a lot of money in 2000. Yeah. And I was going to get a 3% commission. That's incredible. I was, I was going to be a baller. What I didn't know is that what when I arrived is that I needed to walk. <laughs> oh, the sales invo involved involved walking. Walking because the software <coughs> is an inventory software for chemists. Oh, okay. pharmacies. Mm -hmm. So I needed to walk. Pick come from. I used to stay in South Sea, and mm -hmm. I needed to come from South Sea. Mm -hmm. And for example, pick Eastlands. So I'd walk all the way to Jogoro to mm -hmm. into Island, mm. you know, uh, Mukuru mm. into mm. into mm. Enterprise Back Road, into yeah. cross into St Stephen's, I think it's called the Anglican Church yeah. in, on Jogoro, mm. then go into Baha or into Maringo, all the way to Iseli, and see every single chemist there is in Buru, in Jericho, in Westlands, in in Outaring, in wherever I will go. So I'd pick a quadrant and go there and spend the day. See every single chemist, tell them about this software, tell them how it can help them, track every panadol, track every cent, blah, 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 blah. And we're selling it and so on and so forth. Um, and return with your purchases, uh, your sales. Yes. Mm. And you get a lot of no's, mm. of course. More no's than there are yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, out of a thousand no's, mm. you get maybe one yes mm. or something. Mm. And but at least you have your retainer, regardless. I have, uh, yes. Mm. Uh, theoretically, yes. Okay. Because I worked there for six months and I was not paid a cent. That 30k per I month? I sold maybe 3 million shillings. I was never paid my salary nor a commission. Wait, the 30k? Pro, the, what, what? what the, tell me more. <laughs> I was not paid. Why? So every time I'd ask for my pay, I would be told, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Have a drink. Uh, here's bus fare. Tomorrow, let's, let's review it. Let's review. I think the easiest thing that I can tell you is that the, the business person I was working for was not scrupulous, not so quite scrupulous. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you why. Because now this this is how a lot of young guys mm. sort of end up in places they don't want to be. Yeah, exactly. So I, I kind of get tired of doing this. Mm. And I moved myself, departments, yeah. stopped selling the software. Yeah. And I went to work with um, the guy's brother. Mm -hmm. Um, who was, in those days, computers needed, uh, companies needed their computers serviced every so often. Mm -hmm. So that was that department's job. Yeah. They go, they blow the CPU of the computer, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, and they, and they, so they blow the, com the computers, they fix, um, do virus checks, whatnot, yeah. Yeah. and da, da, da. Now, this is where the unscrupulousness comes in. Mm -hmm. So I learned that this team, what they used to do mm -hmm. is they come to Maxi's office mm -hmm. that has 10 computers. Mm -hmm. And when they come into these 10 computers, they would uh, do all the work they need to do in terms of uh, blow them, virus check, everything. Then they would go into the BIOS of the, com of the computer and set it such that it would go blue mm. the week before your board meeting. Mm. <laughs> so they set you up. They set you up. Oh dear. So now this is what will happen. The week before your board meeting. So they need you. You guys are frantically working on your presentations. You're working on your board papers. Blah blah blah. That, that report. So you wrong. know that report. You know that report. Yeah. The, 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 that the, the, report. Your computer suddenly just goes blue. And then you. So you have to. So hey, you I need help. Call these guys as an emergency. And at that point, obviously, they, it's, an, emer it's I mean, an emergency, so... So, I have joined this team, so we come. 
to Maxi's office. Um, and uh, <laughs> we look at this computer and we say, you know, Maxi, we've been telling you, please make sure you do a virus check on floppy disk. Young guys, floppy disk is what used to be there before USB. Um, <laughs> so we tell you to please make sure, before you insert anything, do a virus check, surely. Now look, this is a virus. Anyway, let's see how we can help. Tick, 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 tick. You see us doing some very fancy things. There used to be a thing called defrag, and there used to be another one called, we're in MS-DOS now, territory. Um, if you go on YouTube and, and search for what MS-DOS defrag looks like. You, I'm having a lot of <laughs> you, my own moments here. Or, or you do a check, a command check disk um, with, stroke, uh, with a stroke F. And what it will do is that it, the screen is literally going to go like this. And it's going to take forever. To That's do. a bad. So what bad. us guys are doing is that we've done these things and we're just telling you, do you know, do you know what you are doing exactly? Like, what did you do? Because this was triggered. This is, this one, this is serious. And so we go through those motions. Yeah. And then eventually you uh, figure out that, um, we figure out that this we can't do from here. Because this is, this is not a software issue. It has even affected your hardware. So can you allow us to take this to our office? So we take it to our office, then we go for a drink. Okay. Then at 11, we'll send you a message. Say, hey, Maxi, did the computer flicker when you put it on? Do you remember if it flickered red or something before it now started? Of course, you, you're in Papaya. So all panic. of this is a script. It's a script. So you, you are in a panic and so on and so forth. And you say, yeah, I think so. I say, ah, we're figuring out. What, what shall we just try? Then tomorrow, we will tell you, we will send you a message at 3 o'clock in the morning when we are going coming from the club. Tell you, we figured it out. Uh, we've changed the hard drive of your computer. It's going to be 14,000 shillings. Um, and uh, we managed to restore all of your data, um, which is going to be, you know, you just see us, whatever you will give us. And then we come back into your office tomorrow with your computer, same hard drive, same everything, but with a hard drive from the workshop. With a, tell you, see, this is a hard drive we removed from your computer, but now you can see. What is your biggest interest? Remember, there was a report. There is a presentation you, ha you need. That's the interest. Done. So now you can get back to this. And you're so grateful that it was not lost so that you don't have to start 100 pages. So back. you do the 14K plus maybe so a commission of like 6K. you give me another, another whatever million. you say, ah, you just take this 20K. In fact, here's an extra 2K. Please have yourself a great lunch. So you do that one so organization, another farm, another... Oh, dear. That was a scam. <clears throat> so I have been now... Um, this is my life in crimes. <laughs> I'll this properly thing. title my life in crime <laughs> Alcags on DD with Maxi. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the story of my life in crime. I, I, I got into um <clears throat> this space. I'm still a low level employee, yeah. so I'm the guy the guy being sent around and whatnot because mm. this is a family business. Mm. But I'm doing this because at least I'll get those to two hundreds, three hundreds per day. Yeah. That enable me to survive because yeah. now that company is not yeah. paying me. Nobody is paying me. And now, I mean, just a side note, and uh, it continues that way, and, and unfortunately, with a lot of um, fundies. Even today. Yeah, even today. That's the mode of survival, yeah. scamming guys. Yeah. And I've learned Make, that. Uh, making it look like, oh, uh, the last minute it is. Yeah, it's, it's, your, yeah, it's, it's, your, it's critical. It's your mechanic it's your life, telling you but, that yeah, um, yeah. this wire has come off, but it's him who's your mod wire. Yeah. Um, it is your your you know computer guy telling you this is too complicated because you, don't you know mind. conversations you have with our with my my, my children is um part of um uh, part of life skills is to know a little of everything yes so that you can you are able to sort some few basics yes you know it's, uh, it's not everything that we, you need to call uh for emergency yes. you know you can identify you can troubleshoot some things and then by the time you're calling for help you know you actually something yeah you, you actually know when you're being almost conned now you know the beauty of the, the interesting thing about that time mm. is there was no internet there wasn't so you couldn't google so there was no google like, yeah you know at least our kids yeah what, are, are what's going the to be problem growing up in a space yeah where they're going to be able to pick up their phone yeah. and ask it yeah how do you fix yeah. 
<laughs> hey Siri, what is the yeah, problem with this? This is you know, and yeah. it's gonna get even worse yeah. because you now have Alexa in the in exactly. your we have smartphones. Yeah. So I'm gonna be sitting here without yeah. leaving this seat. Yeah. I'm going to say, um, hey, would you put on the TV how I can fix yeah, this computer? Exactly. And YouTube would come on w and show me how you, to fix. you walked through every single detail of, of uh, my fridge is uh, right yes. now not behaving in the particular way that it should. It's, exactly. Yeah, the levels are not as cold. The, the, mm. the refrigerator. And I the mean, refrigerator of the future yeah. is actually going to be even more interesting. Yeah. Because of the fact that you will say fridge diagnose. Yeah, exactly. And it will self-diagnose. Anyway, back to your so, wonderful story <laughs> so, of post-high school. Um, so, um, now I'm in, I'm surviving. I'm, mm. I'm trying to make do in this Nairobi mm. and uh, things are not easy. Mm. Uh, and of course I don't want to show my mother that it's bad. It's bad. Mm. Um, so I'm quiet about all mm. these things. Mm. And then I left that company to their sister company again. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so the same set of brothers. So now this one is being run by the father of the, of the company. And they're doing something even more interesting mm -hmm. because they're a company. In those days, they used to be, I don't know whether those companies exist now, but mm. they used to be companies that help you to go to study in the U.S. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. They, 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 they exist right now. Yeah. yeah. They are advertising all over. And it is mm. uh, particularly, it's, it, let me tell you, that gig. It's lucrative. It's a lucrative. If you're doing the job, mm. ay, 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 you make the chums. Like you cannot believe. So especially if it is towards the, actually around the year. Yeah. Because it's, you know. Yeah, it's around the year. And that time, it was a really big emergency for people to go abroad. So yeah. it was a thing. You had mentioned in the year to early 2000s. Yeah. So mm. um, this is now early 2000. Mm. I moved to this company mm. um, and I'm the messenger. Mm -hmm. Now, Maxi's parents have sold their cow they brought maxi who mm. got straight ease mm. but they want him to go to the states mm. and the, the plan is once he goes to once he gets to the states mm. um and joins university x mm. um what he's going to do is that he's going to uh, go under not be in school you mean not be in school mm -hmm. the, the plan is not for him to be in school it's mm. for him to go and become an illegal Oh, immigrant. That's how families were doing it right. those days. So we would look for people who used to look for papers. For papers. In, in, mm. in other countries, it was not as easy. But here, what people mm. used to do was get invited for a church something. And once you mm. go for the church conference mm. in the group, you get assimilated. On the day for going back, mm. you're not coming back. You go to Boston to your relaze. Yeah. That is that, or mm. to, in mm. Minnesota or whatever. Mm. Mm. Um, by the way, depending on what your tribe is, because even those places they've created yeah. their own tribal cocoon. Texas is for a particular <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So you, we kind of know where you land up eventually. Yeah. yeah. So this company is doing that. Mm -hmm. Now their job is simple. When Maxi comes mm -hmm. with his ease, mm. they will um, find forgers mm. who will change mm. um, his result slip to mm -hmm. A's, mm. so that Maxi can go to whatever the school, to whatever that school mm -hmm. is. And they would fill all the forms, whatever mm. it is, mm. send it to the school. Mm. The school would uh, look at this person who's, of course, been packaged very well to be impressive. Mm. And, you know, they would admit this person, mm. send an I-20. Mm. Maxi would go over to the embassy mm. with the I-20. Mm. He's been prepared or not to say, mm. will you come back? Never, never returning. Yes, but what, are you going to tell that to the embassy? Mm -mm. No, you're going to say? You... Absolutely. As soon as I'm done with my education, I'll come, come back, back because I want to change my community. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a script. That's a script. Mm -hmm. So it was all very scripted, mm -hmm. and frankly speaking, it was mm -hmm. a, as as businesses go. Now, mm -hmm. one of the things I tell young guys is mm -hmm. that I have nothing against illegal businesses. <laughs> what do you mean? I have nothing against illegal businesses, if you're prepared for the consequences. Uh huh. It, I mean one of the most lucrative businesses mm. in the world is selling drugs. Oh, yeah. It is a really good business. And it's all over. Margins are great. It's all over. If you just look at it, margins are great. Demand is fantastic. Mm. Um, and it's considered a leisure item. So among the things that you could do um, as a career is sell drugs. <laughs> Except if you are caught, you will be arrested and sent to jail. If you are uh, sent to jail, 
you have lost standing in your family, you've lost face in the sight of everybody else. Yeah. You are now a criminal, this, mm. and that goes with, that lives with you even when you're 70. Mm. But if that is a risk you're prepared to take, and by the way, you could also be killed by I mean, tough wars and whatnot. Yeah. If you, that is a, you know, every job comes with its downsides. And if that is a downside that you're prepared to live with, then by all means sell drugs. <laughs> well, the views expressed here. <laughs> if you can, if you yeah. can, if that is what you're prepared to do, I get then do it. it. I, I get, I get the point you're making. Yeah, mm. because of the fact that um, it's a business. Mm. Now, for this case, what they were doing, you see, it's already a well scripted, well created system. Mm. So, if what these guys were doing was that, mm. and they were still get, and they were giving people value for their money, mm. and the value that people wanted is to go to the states, mm. so they get an I twenty, and then they go to the embassy, and they. Yeah. And the problem is, the mm. money is good because people are paying maybe fifty, a hundred thousand, whatever it is. Mm. When they pay, some of the guys would. Oh, by the way, let me go back to the business. For me. In this business, see, I've put an ad in the paper, people have come and mm. whatever it is. Mm. I've got 10 people who I'm going to be applying mm -hmm. to Oklahoma State mm. University, for mm. example. Yeah. So that means I'll be saving a lot of money mm -hmm. by bundling all this Together. into one DHL package yeah. to yeah. that place and yeah. so on. And so so yeah. I'm making money hand yeah. over fist, true, true, isn't true. it? Yeah. So there's absolutely no reason mm. for me to be shafting anyone. Mm. Mm. Problem is, mm -hmm. they never used to do the work. Ah, I see. So what they would do is they'll package, package, package. And for about 40% of the people, mm. they wouldn't just do the work. Oh. They wouldn't send the ideas. This cohort. So you keep coming back. Yeah. Yes. You mm. keep coming back into the office and they tell you, oh, yeah, we've, we've emailed the school. They've said they need this or they need that. Why? Though? And you know, we are a corrupt society. They are more and, corrupt. And now, may I'm being taught how to be corrupt. Mm. Because, remember, I told you at the beginning, mm. this is how. People's mm. lives go a certain direction. Mm. Mm. I met this family. Mm. They're now teaching me how to scam people mm. on the mm. computer side mm. to be a scamming mm. fundi. Mm. And it's branded mm. surviving in Nairobi. Yeah. Then I've moved to this other place where mm. I am still a low level employee. Mm. I'm a, a messenger. Mm. And I've learned number one, that we forge people's mm. documents and mm. it's cool. Mm. Number two, that we that we um, can you know shaft people mm. and get them to even give more money mm. because we are telling them mm -hmm. what we need to do. Mm. You know, we need that other document, mm. and getting that document is not easy. Mm. We need to pay five thousand shillings to those people behind, yeah, so that they remove that document for us. So give us a five thousand. You know, you see those two games. Now, I used to be sent as a messenger mm -hmm. downtown to the forger's headquarters. There's, there's such a thing. There used to be such. I don't know now, mm. but mm. I mean, mm. you go downtown into near Grogon Road, mm. those sides, eh? mm -hmm. and there used to be a forger's paradise. Mm. And what we we do is, I go, I pay, mm. and the guy asks me, "What do you want?" Mm. You want a title deed? Mm. You get it. You want a, a bank statement? You mm. get it. You want a whatever? You get mm. it. Because those days, the bank statements also mm. were just. Literally pieces, pieces of, paper, of paper that are just um, printed and that are printed on that dot matrix printer. Yeah. So if I have a dot matrix printer and have been able to print out the Barclays the way the Barclays um, or Standard Chartered or whichever banks, whatever, mm. Mm. I can give you. You just tell me which bank you want. Mm. I'll give you the how Statement. you want for a year, showing that you have ten million. I got you. So you got this beautiful statement that's showing ins and outs, ins and outs, ins and outs of money. And that is showing a significant amount of money. So I'm sent to these places and the guys who, who are low level in the forging sphere. Hierarchy, yeah. Hierarchy, yes. Mm. Are those guys who used to change the case, the, the result slips. Because mm. they used to do a really poor job. Mm. What they used to do is take a photocopy of the result slip. Mm -hmm. Then they go with a scalpel. Do you remember scalpel? We mm -hmm. used to play with yeah, it in, in school. Yeah, in school, yeah. And they cut the A out and take glue and stick it on top of the other one, then photocopy it. That's shady. Now, I look at this and I think, I can innovate this. Because I know how to do graphic design. Mm. Somewhere along the line. Oh, you had learned. I have taught myself mm, mm. how to do, mm. it, used, it used to be called desktop publishing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. No, no graphic design. The graphic design is a very recent. Yeah. It used to be called desktop publishing. MS publisher and yes. stuff. Yeah. So I knew how to use MS publisher. Mm. I knew how to use Corel Draw. Corel Draw, mm. and I knew how to use Adobe's the early Adobe. It was called PageMaker. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I had that's... learned how to do those things. Mm. So mm-hmm. this guy is being paid five Gs mm. for a result slip. Mm. That he's doing this thing, and mm-hmm. it's not perfect because you know when you're sticking that car. A back mm. sometimes it is like this yeah. or like this yeah it's small but you yeah. can tell so me i'm looking at this i'm like but i can do this with a computer mm. and this guy i'm being paying he's being paid five g's mm. so what i start doing is i start going to a different cyber cafe in the in that paradise place i start um getting from the office i'm given five thousand bob to take to maxi who is the forger yeah but I don't go to his place. You go to this cyber? I go to the cyber and I do the the thing. And you, I mean, you're the messenger. So either yes. way, what what's required at is, the end is, is, the, is, result is, is the result slip. So now I've been 5,000 bob. Oh, man. Well, 4,000. And something because 4, you paid. 4,900. Yeah, because you let's paid Let's say because the I paid cyber. for the printing yeah. and whatever it is. Ooh. I made 4,900 bob. And they, the, the people who are saying you don't know this happening. They don't care. Yeah. And then they see the quality that I've come back with. I said, I found another guy. This is a sample. Yeah. And he said that he may be charging 8 Gs. <laughs> They're like, yeah, this, this is actually much better. So, <laughs> so I paid 8 Gs uh, to go and uh, to this other new guy that I found. Um, you have been to <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> so I'm making money. Oh, dear. Okay. I'm making money. Uh-huh. Um, and I even figured out all kinds of documents I yeah. can, I now can do. Yeah. And while I'm there, I'm even meeting people who say, hey, you are an expert in this thing. Can you do for me? Mm. So you get your own ha- side. I get my own side s- hustle now. Yeah. I can forge for people, you know, different things. I want a recommendation. This is how you're... Ca- Why? A recommendation Why? letters, <laughs> secure word, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and... By the way, it becomes extremely lucrative for me. I can imagine. Oh, so now there's Eventually, no more worry about, oh, mom will... But when I, when I go back to the office, I tell them, Aki, you know, I don't even have, I even have bus fare. <laughs> Things are so thick. <laughs> and then this, this family, you, uh... I, I want you to know how tough, how bad, you know, think about it. Mm. You know how much the money these guys are making. That's true. They are the ones who are sending you with money to and pay And they have these other funny biasharas that and are also not the funny yeah. mm. that are making them. Mm. But to pay you money yeah. was hard. Oh, and then they didn't pay you the 30k initially yes. for the first and six And now, months. even now, even just give me 500, G, 500 bob a yeah. day so that yeah. I can have lunch and I can yeah. bus fare or oh, whatever okay. it is. Right. I have to beg. Yeah. So I come back to the office. Uh, here, mm. I have 30,000. Mm. But I'm like, okay, now I don't know what I'm going to do. I need, um, okay, I need bus fare because otherwise I'll walk home and I, I don't even have food in the house. Ah, yeah, but today you've done a good job. Here's 300, Bob. What? Okay. So I, I remain a <coughs> messenger. Low level messenger. Are they, anyway, who are these people though? <laughs> okay. I, I don't want to know them. I know. Is I'll it, take offense. <laughs> this, this is how the guys are operating. But so they taught is, you, they taught you. So this is a Nairobi I'm introduced yeah, to. They taught you Nairobi survival skills. So I am, um, I've done this for a few months. Mm. Um, and then mm-hmm. one day mm-hmm. I'm 20 years old. Mm. So by the way, I have, I am beginning to even see the guys who in this space have made it. There's a guy who you go into his office on Grogon Road. I got to go to his office on Grogon Road. Mm. Every shady business that you can ever think about that is digital, this guy has done. From forging him, he was at the, he was those years he was at the level of forging passports. He was that guy. Who? You know those guys. Oof. So you are you are hearing about you see that guy. That guy can get your passport. Man. You see the car he's driving. You see, see, you what? So the allure as a young man is that that's the life I want to live. This is the guy to become. Yes. <coughs> this is the role model. I'm not seeing any other kind of role models in my life at that point. I'm reading a lot, but there's a disparity between what I'm reading, for example, from the development sector yeah. or from the government mm. and from whatever it is about law abiding and yeah. the tax paying and mm. so on and so forth. 
and the Nairobi that I'm seeing, mm. because the Nairobi that I'm seeing has has no scruples. Mm. One day, mm -hmm. I have gone, I have gotten my two documents. I'm going back to the office. So I used to walk all the way up to. Um, so the place at that time was where the, the I have graduated cybers now mm -hmm. that I can do this at. Mm. I found a cyber that was you see where on Tomboya Street between at the corner of Tomboya Street and Accra Road. Yeah, there's a Tuskies. Uh, on this, uh, yeah, yes, yeah. right mm -hmm. there. There's mm -hmm. a Tuskies. Mm -hmm. Now that Tuskies at the basement mm -hmm. was a was that Pin, uh, place. Yeah, so the that's cyber. where I used to go. Mm. So this day I have done the work. I have whatever. I have come out. Mm -hmm. As soon as I come out up the stairs. I have crossed Tomboya Street. I've gone around the archives. I am at the waiting to cross uh, Moy Avenue mm -hmm. to go to the Hallingham buses mm -hmm. at Kemcom. Mm -hmm. As I'm standing there, a guy who I was with in the cyber catches up. <sighs> <He's running. coughs> I'm like, dude, what's, what, where is the problem? Mm. He says, the moment you left, there was a Mariamu. Mariamu, for you young guys, is the big lorry for the police it came and reversed into the entrance of that place and everybody was taken away him he was only able to run away because he was short and was able to run under the bus the the, the truck but everybody in that place has been arrested all those forgers all those guys i saw that mariamu as i came out it was parked over there as i crossed the street but for the grace of God, I would have been one of those arrested. I missed them by a minute. Think about the time it takes to come out from that task to cross, the road. cross this road around archives. The visual is surreal. Okay. Now remember what I was just saying. I don't have a problem with you doing illegal business if you're prepared for the consequences. That makes a lot of sense. For me, that was the wake-up call. Are you really ready for these consequences? Mm -mm. This, is this something you are prepared for? Mm -mm. I was not. So I went, delivered my documents, and, and you quit. Your hands.